Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Annie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today we'll be reviewing Transformer Cyberverse Shadow Striker. This is both old and brand new to me on this channel. So yeah, it's another old school figure, but it's brand new that came with the packaging. So yeah. Before we look at Shadow Striker herself, we're going to look at the packaging. Turbo Boost, Twin Boost, Turbo Blast, Shadow Striker. So she can go in the turbo. Why not? And we get a nice product shot of Shadow Striker. This figure is good looking and fun. Why not? I say why not? That's all there is to say for packaging. Let's look at Shadow Striker herself. I'm gonna turn on the flashlight so you can see this figure. And this is a good looking Shadow Striker car mode. Way better than all the other Shadow Striker Scout classes that don't have a good looking car mode. And it kind of looks looks like a car almost, except for the visible robot head syndrome. You can put her head down to make it seem like her head is hidden if you want. It's a thing you can do. You got some nice purple Energon Turbo Boost for the car mode. But now we're going to get down to comparisons in vehicle mode, if I can get my bin of Transformers out. Here we got the only other Cyberverse Scout Class Decepticon next to uh, Shadow Striker, Starscream. We do got Lord Megatron, but he's in bot mode, so we're just going to skip on to Transformation, which is very simple. And then we fold up the head. And there we got Shadow Striker in her robot mode. You push these up and Shadow Striker can stand on her own two feet a bit. But the booster things are a pain in the neck. So now we're going to transform Starscream. Pair him. Pair her next to Shadow Striker. And she is my third female Decepticon. And I love some female Decepticons, for sure. And she's my third one I own in my collection. But here we got Starscream nearly in his robot mode, if I can get him to work for me, next to Shadow Striker. And they look good together. Here is Lord Megatron, Shadow Striker's leader. And we got some Autobot comparisons. Ratchet. Optimus. Bumblebee. Mortal Enemy of Shadow Striker. And of course, we threw in Nightbird because she's another female Decepticon. And because we need a purple comparison, we're going to bring in Slipstream from the Ultra class here. And I just dropped her on the floor. And her foot went off somewhere. Give me a second. I'll get her found and up there to pair with. Really go into pieces. <laughs> she really likes to fall down easily and go to pieces. But here we got Slipstream next to the Shadow Striker. But that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. But before we end this video, do I think a Shadow Striker 
is worth adding to my collection. Well, I think it's worth the money for me anyway. It's a fun little gimmick figure, and he's and she's kind of ripping off Iron Man. Oh man, she's ripping off Iron Man with the jet booster under her feet, though. They don't like to peg in, but he's, she can say she's flying like Iron Man. <laughs> That's all I was to say for this video. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.